Hello and welcome to Property Fundamentals. This is the channel to get up-to-date property investing information for cities across the UK. First of all, we'll analyse the data. Then, we'll identify the best areas to invest in. In this video, we'll look at Derby in 2023. Here we have the mean sold property price by ward for detached properties in Derby. Generally, the central and central eastern wards are the cheapest to invest in. These are the sold prices for the semi-detached properties. The western wards are particularly expensive in comparison to the rest. With terraced housing, the ward of Normanton is particularly cheap. For flats, the ward of Little Over is particularly expensive. And finally, we have the combined sold prices for all property types. The overall price trend for Derby seems to be that it gets more expensive as you move away from the city centre. This is a map of the public transport routes in Derby. There are multiple train stations within the city and a bus station at the centre. There is also the M1 motorway which runs nearby. These are the Ofsted ratings for schools in Derby. The schools are very mixed throughout Derby, but the ward of Darley seems to be particularly attractive. This may encourage families to seek out this area. Here are the institutions of higher education in Derby. The majority of these institutions are concentrated in the centre of the city, making them an ideal location for student lets. The dark blue areas show places which have a flooding risk within Derby. There are significant areas of flooding throughout Derby, so investors will need to be careful within these areas. With burglary over a three month period, the ward of Arboretum at the centre of the city is the worst affected. This trend was also present two years ago in the 2021 data, which means that it's most likely a long term issue. For universal credit, the centre of the city has the highest percentage of claimants. The percentage of claimants appears to generally reduce as we move further away from the city centre. Finally, for housing benefit, there appears to be a large concentration of people on housing benefit in the northern central area. Now we've looked at the data, we can now analyse it to find the best areas within Derby to invest. Before this, if you haven't already, I'd recommend you watch my other video which explains how to interpret this analysis. The map below shows the desirability of the various wards within Derby. Data from the housing benefit claimants, universal credit claimants, burglary data and schools have been collated to give an overall picture of which areas are desirable and which are not. The flood data has been excluded from this analysis due to it not being in a form to be quantified in this instance. The general trend for location desirability within Derby is that the centre of the city is the least desirable and the outskirts of the city are the most desirable. The southern ward of Sin Fin is an outlier to this as it is on the outskirts but also undesirable. The tables below show the quantified results of the average property prices and the desirability rankings. Generally, the wards which are the cheapest are the least desirable and vice versa. We are looking for exceptions where a desirable area is cheap as this is an area which may provide a high return on investment over the long term. These cheap but desirable areas will become more obvious when we visualise the data. Here we have a visualisation of the average property prices against location desirability for the wards in Derby. The data suggests that most wards are as expected because the least desirable wards are cheap and the most desirable wards are expensive. The ward of Chaddesdon is an interesting option because it has a fairly good location desirability and its price is not too high. Therefore, it may offer a good return on investment. The ward of Normanton seems to have a better than expected desirability considering its low price, so it may offer a good option for investors who target properties at the bottom end of the market. In terms of wards to avoid, Sin Fin seems to be expensive given its low location desirability and therefore it is unlikely to offer a good return on investment. For the rest of the wards, the average property price and location desirability seem to line up as expected, meaning they present less of an opportunity to generate a high return on investment. Thank you for watching this episode of Property Fundamentals. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you again 
next time.